greet the Spirit of God. I greet Pastor Simit, his wife. I greet Elder Peck, Elder Kerr. I greet all the brothers in Zion, the sisters in Zion. I greet the little one. Bless be to God. I greet the unsaved if there be any here among us today. Jesus, oh God, it's the ultimate reason why God came down and died upon a cross. He is to save them that are lost. The Bible said, Hallelujah, Jesus, oh God, that great wisdom is them that win a soul. Hallelujah, Jesus. Karabashe Kataya Masanda. In spite of what is on the outside. Us, which is the carrier of the glory of God, have the fire on the inside. Hallelujah, Jesus, oh God. Bless be to God. We are not by ourselves. A song that I love, it says, by myself, it won't work. Lord, I need your help. Lord, I need your help. By myself, it won't work. Self is a total failure. And I'm standing before you because I'm not depending upon self this morning. I'm standing before you because I know who I believed in. I know who I serve. And I know whom I belong to. Nobody can tell me otherwise. Hey! Kutaraba Sheketu. I know the day when he called me. I greet my family, my wife, and my three little girls. I know when he called me from the ghetto of Kingston. I remember that night, oh God Almighty Jesus. He didn't use a preacher. He speak to me on a personal level. He said, if I should come now, would you be saved? Hey, am I, am I talking to somebody? Kutayama say. Katu satayama sendei. He spoke to my spirit. And as a big man, I begin to cry. I begin to weep and I begin to moan. And I say, God, save me. No man cometh unto God except he call them. And you say yes to the call. Am I speaking to somebody here today? Brother, the Lord is calling you. It's 2020 and God is calling you. I greet the musician. I greet you, sir. I greet the sound technician. I greet the ushers. I greet live stream viewers. I greet those that are, that are viewing from the prison. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. In Tampa, Florida. I greet them now. And I reach out to them now in the mighty name of Jesus. If you're listening right now. Christ said, leave and go bid them. Go by the byways and the edges. Go bid them. Go bid them to come. Hallelujah, you may be seated. I have not much time up here. Blessed be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Can somebody say hallelujah? Can somebody say hallelujah? Can somebody lift your hands and say hallelujah? Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory, Jesus. Glory, God. Jesus, I thank him because he is good. 
I'm going to go back to that scripture, St. Matthew 14. Blessed be to God. I saw the trend that we started on for the year 2020. Blessed be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. I saw it. And we're not coming down. Jesus, glory be to God. I'm a young man of praise. If you push to praise God, I say go ahead. Yes, because we have to understand that God ministered to just about different ways. Not because I am called to preach the word. That doesn't mean that God can't use the musician to touch somebody. Not because, you know, it was said that Brother Robinson is going to preach the word. That mean, that doesn't mean that God can't use a singer to reach somebody. Anytime we get out of that limit where we don't put Jesus, just follow the spirit of almighty God and see where God is leading. God at times is going this way and sometimes we just drop right into the service and you know messed up what god is god want us to do bless be to god but i believe it's 2020 where we are to listen to the voice of god hallelujah jesus so god listening is key and hallelujah jesus if i just gonna talk 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 but yet don't listen to when god is speaking i'm in trouble hallelujah jesus glory god can somebody say glory god hallelujah jesus glory god glory God we thank him today because God has been good heavenly father God bless this word God almighty Jesus whatever you have me to say today God almighty let it be a blessing to somebody heart God almighty please I'm asking your God by faith oh God breathe God almighty Jesus upon your people let every elements of wickedness oh God almighty set in motion against us fail in the name of Jesus today God almighty right now I come to attack oh God every counter attack from the counsel of Satan in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I send your blood with fire in the name of Jesus Christ God somebody said the blood of Jesus hallelujah somebody said the blood of Jesus somebody said the blood of Jesus glory be to God we know the story quite clearly about Peter walking on the water. Several preachers have preached it. We know it. But have, us, have we look deeply in what God is saying? Have we look At the demonstrative power of Almighty God to a spoken word that was issued from the lips of Jesus to an individual just as us. Peter wasn't an angel, but Peter was a man. That desire, that desire to go beyond the expectation and limit of man. Peter was not the individual that will just sit in his comfort zone and every year, every day, every month. He will talk about the same thing. You know, Elder Simit, I just got to do better. You know, Elder Simit, I am going to start to do what God have called me to do. But never do it. And for some reason, it's just lip service and you're stuck. 
But I'm here to tell somebody. I'm here to tell a minister. I'm here to tell a brother. For the year 2020. Jesus oh God. It's time for you to make a move. If you believe that God can do it. Hallelujah Jesus. The team state, hallelujah, Jesus, with God all things are possible. Or rather, Jesus, hallelujah, Jesus, it will happen only if you believe. Bless be to God. Jesus, oh God, because you have to understand Jesus, oh God, that God has the ability to perform anything Jesus that you believe him for hallelujah Jesus once you believe elder Kerr hallelujah Jesus Christ God has the ability to do it yes, ask Joshua and he will tell you for some reason I looked at the sun could it be because of Joshua faith in God the sun was rotating. But from then, when Joshua spoke to the sun, the sun stands still. Not my theory. I'm just looking into something because if something is moving, and he said, stand still. The sun is moving. It's only God who has the ability to do such work. But yet still, oh God Almighty, for Joshua are the children of Israel to win that war. Joshua take up himself in faith and say, son, stand still. Son, stand still. When we look at Peter's life. We see here that Peter is a man of faith. And we understand that God gives a measure of faith. We understand that faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. How much of us God has spoke something into a life in time past but we haven't made a move yet how much of us hallelujah jesus oh god god has decreed a word how much of us jesus oh god we have read to his his written word because God said for lo I came in the volume of the book and it was written of me it was an inspired word but how much of us hallelujah Jesus have read into the word of God but yet still we wavered within our mind about something concerning our life the faith that Peter has linked to believe and believe is the acceptance of something as true. Hallelujah, Jesus. Feel sure of the truth of. The truth of that. Jesus, he that put it, your marriage together. Is able to keep that marriage together. Comes what may the Lord has the ability have you believed that word uh, because you've read it have you believed that God in spite of the hell that raised up against your marital life God is able to keep you in spite of what comes against you God is able to keep you have you believe? Have you believed God for your future life? Have you believed God for your future life? Not only here on earth, but in heaven. Have you believed the word when you say it every time that you're going home? Now unto him. That is able. Have you just 
they're saying it because of some lip service. No one to him that is able to present us what? Faultless. Before what? The presence. Hallelujah. No one to him that is able to keep you. No one to him, the almighty God. No one to him, Jesus, oh God. The one who knows everything. No one to him, Jesus, oh God. Oh God. God Almighty that have you in the hollow palms of his hands. Can you just look at how God is so big. If the Bible state that the whole ocean he has within the hollow of his palm can you imagine yourself you know no, nothing compare to the ocean oh God Almighty Jesus hallelujah the seas but God said God I have you God said, Jesus, oh God, I have engraved you in the hollow palms of my hands. The Bible state, whosoever the Father give it to me, no man is able. Lord Jesus, Sister Tanya, no spirit from hell is able to plot them out of the hands of God. What happened is, in the church, I'm looking at my time, is that you have to be careful of who has spoken over your life. You have to be careful of who teaches you. I spoke to the Sunday school about this. But in the physical world you have identity theft. And some of you know that more than I do. Identity theft when somebody has, has stilled your identity. Manipulate who you are. Imitate who you are. And when you show up to the bank to do something, they say no. Somebody is using this identity and for some reason it involves in so much process to really get you back to the original you. And so is in the church of the living God. Jesus, when your mind is messed up about the God that you serve, when your mind is messed up about whom you believe in and whom you belong to, you walk with your heads down. You walk not knowing that you're healed before you even come to church because God's word said that healing is a children's bread. God word said that by my stripe you're healed. God word said I will never leave you nor forsake you. I will be there with you. That's what the word of God said. Even unto the end I will be there with you. That's what the word of God said. We read it the other day. And we say, come let us live. The words say that, oh God, if you seek me diligently and hearken unto my commandment or my voice, this is what is going to happen to you. You're going to be blessed going out. Blessed coming in, brother Peter. Kutayama say, mandula bashio. Because most time you sit with your credential, brother Peter. I'm not afraid, Jesus, to talk about it. But you have to rise up in the godness that is in you. You got to say, Jesus, best is yet to come. For past years of struggle, moving from this job to that job. Brother Peter, raise your hands. Do you see yourself, oh God, as the chief architect, oh God Almighty Jesus? Am I saying something here? Watch this, if the world can do it, hallelujah, Jesus. And the church of God has the God in us and has the ability. Lord God Almighty, 
mighty Jesus. Can I talk to the church of the living God? Lord God Almighty just came to my spirit. I understand the reason why. The black race, oh God Almighty. Jesus, most of us walk with our heads down. It's because we, we fear to fail. Lord Jesus, oh God. The moment we stepped out. Lord Jesus, whatsoever it is. If it's a job, the moment we stepped out and we fail one time, fail take a fear take a hold of us. The moment, sister, you apply for the teaching job at the great university, and the moment they say no, you didn't pass. Jesus, fear take take hold of our life. But do I have somebody in the year 2020? Do I have somebody that will say to you? Yourself. Comes one may. I'm going forward in Jesus' name. Comes one may. I'm going out by faith. I'm going out. With God, all things are possible. The church is suffering because we fail to believe. The church is suffering. Believe in God. This is hot. It's greater than just you come into church and speak in tongues and run the eyes. Believe in Kata Kutaya Masay. Jesus, Jesus is beyond lifting your hands. Believe in God. Sometimes when you're doing it, you have to walk alone. Jesus, hallelujah, God. When Jesus was going, Jesus, hallelujah, God, leave them and went to pray. And while he was there praying, hallelujah, Jesus, he sent them away. In the midst, hallelujah, of the sea, hallelujah, God Almighty. But the Bible said, oh God, I believe it was the fourth watch. And while it was the fourth watch, oh God, Jesus, fourth watch, according to our time is three o'clock, I believe. And while 3 a.m., hallelujah, so it's the darkness of time. But how much of us, Jesus, hallelujah, Jesus knows that God move even when it's the darkest of time. How much of us know that it was oh God, midnight that Jacob wrestled with God until Jesus, the breaking of day, until he received the transformation of his name. No more called the chickster. No more called Jesus God, a con man, but called Lord God Almighty, Jesus, oh God. How much of us knows that it was at midnight that most of the children, that the journey of the children of Israel, they walk by night, but they still have God, the presence of Him to guide and protect them. How much of us know that it's by night? when God come down and he's waking us up and he said brother A you gotta pray because this is the time from 12 a.m. to 12 oh God to 12 to 6 in the morning the works of the wizard the works of the witches is carrying out but how much of us know that we fail to get up we fail to pray we fail Jesus and for some some reason we see more sick in the church than never before but how much of us know if only we have some people to raise the midnight and begin to travail begin to pull down stuff begin to Lord God Almighty talk to Jesus Peter was on the ship. Peter was on the ship. Watch this. And while he was on the ship, 
He never knew it until they saw Jesus coming. Now watch this. Any time that your faith is going to increase, doubt shows up. Any time God is going to create a situation for you to go up because the Bible said he gave you a measure of faith. Any time you're going to step out, I am going to step out. Doubt shows up. Doubt presents itself. And that's the reason why at times you have to walk alone. When Abraham went to offer Isaac as a sacrifice, he said, stay here with the donkey. And pre-adventure, I would bring the donkey because donkey don't talk. Donkey go as they lead. But human being at times, they question stuff. The pastor said, oh God, Jesus, it's a year where we're going to see the vision manifest. And we're going to also see the release of the God, of the vision. But oh God, I sit to say why. But hear me today. Lord Jesus, oh God, you have to move, oh God, and leave some people. But Peter said, Jesus, as ever Everybody was saying to him, it's a duppy, it's a ghost, oh God Almighty. But Peter said, Jesus, within his word, Jesus bid me to come. Bid me to come to you, Lord. Bid me to come, Jesus. Can somebody say, bid me, Lord, to come? Can somebody say, bid me to come? I'm coming down soon. Can somebody say, bid me to come? You know what you want from God. You know that God is calling you higher. Lord Jesus, tell God, bid me to come today. You're not saving this place, but in your seat, say, to God, bid me to come, bid me to come in the name of Jesus, bid me to come, hallelujah Jesus, Peter said, Peter state if it be thou bid me to come and it was one word that was released out of the mouth of out of the mouth of Jesus come what are you struggling with what are you struggling with in last year and the year before last what have you failed at and God is saying, come, take it up, follow me. He said, come. My little sister, he said, come, come. He said, if you will be my disciple, take up your cross, deny yourself, Jesus, and follow me. The Bible said, he that put it his hand to the plow and take it back is not worthy, is not fit for the kingdom of God. I'm speaking to somebody here. Jesus is saying to somebody, come Jesus up hither. He's not like in the Old Testament because you have to understand that it's only few people was qualified to really go close to God and did not see much of him. But I see when God said, I want a better covenant with the children of Oh God, God, they that were sat in darkness have sown that marvelous light. We are they that were sat in the darkness. Lord Jesus, and see that light. And God is saying, I've called you up. God is saying, come without fear. God is saying, come Jesus, come to this altar. God is saying, lay down. I want you to understand, Jesus 
that there is only few times the word father was mentioned in the Old Testament even though in the Old Testament God established oh God a relationship between Israel and himself you have to understand but the way in which God established Jesus the relationship between us the new covenant church is different and better but then it's only the priest could go in but the children of Israel got to stay on the outer Lord Jesus and it was the only the high priest that could go into the inner court and offer sacrifice hear me somebody Jesus God wants you to come to him come in boldness God wants you to come to him come repenting God wanted to come to him the Bible state we have an high priest which can be touched by the feeling of infirmity saints of the living God Jesus Lord God high priest he intercede oh God every time you bring your sin a sacrifice he take it from you and he brought it before the shown room of heaven do I have somebody that understand the depths oh God of the God that loves you do I have somebody that understand that with God all things are possible do I have somebody that is believing God right now watch the saints of the living God God said I want Mount Zion not to be intimidated by any spirit force that say otherwise to you cut Moshe. God is saying Jesus Lord God Almighty Jesus God is saying I have created I've given you pastor but from the pastor I sit as the head I oversee everything God is saying Jesus oh God God is saying, watch this. I saw Brother Delroy with the baby. God is saying, Jesus. Brother Delroy, I have an experience with Jesus. Oh God, my littlest one. Every time I'm going through the door, 3 o'clock or 3.30 or in the morning. Lord Jesus, oh God, I hear when the baby said, Da, da, da. Lord Jesus, oh God, right, Elder Simit, if you hear and one of yours cry, even though you're preaching for some reason, you pause and look. Lord Jesus, and it's the same way with the God that we serve. Every time, oh God, do I have a, somebody in here? You're just a baby in the presence of God. You can't even say, J -j 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 says God but God said call me G he said call me G -G Jesus until you get the Jesus can somebody open your mouth and say Jesus can somebody raise your hands and say Jesus can somebody raise your hands and say Jesus can somebody raise your hands raise your hands and say I'm here Lord raise your hands and lift him up raise your hands and give him praise every time I hear every time I hear the baby said da 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 I have to even though I'm running late and I go back and check on that little baby sometime I gave her maybe a grape or something and she gave me this big smile and I even put the dish beside her, the plate, and take the picture. And I said, wow. And I got to look at it. Do you know that God is taking your picture? When he attended to your cares. Lord God Almighty Jesus, oh God. And he look when you enter the gate. Enter in with praise in your heart. And into his courts, oh God Almighty. Lord Jesus, now. God is looking at you from heaven. The 
Bible said if your earthly father knew how to give you a wicked heart individual, knew how to give you good gift, he said if you ask me now for stone, if you ask me for bread, would I give you stone? If you ask me Jesus for fish, would I give you serpent? He said I'm not like earthly man. He said I'm beyond that oh God almighty. He said call to my name Jesus oh God call my name call me Jesus call me and I will show up call me in faith Lord Jesus glory but one while Peter was stepping out I told you before I told you before where are the investors in here Brother Delroy, yes, he reminds me of Denzel Washington for some reason. Anything that is coming out of his mouth is like he constructed before he says it. Yes, calm. I'm picking up people. Shatarabashi. We're the people that is saying that this year is my breakthrough. Brother Gillespie, Brother Gillespie, God doesn't only want you to have a few chucks. God wants you to have more than a few chucks. God want to give you businesses so that you can become the boss. Watch this. And it's with pain or tides. It's with pain or tides. God want to move us from working for money. But have money working for us. You can become a slave to a thing. It was Bob Marley said emancipate us from mental slavery. Forgive me. But yes it's deep. It was Bob Marley who said emancipate us from mental slavery because we have been delivered physically, spiritually, but because now, Jesus, we fail to understand who God is, we are still living like some Jamaican in slavery and shackles, even though God has delivered and free us. We walk with our heads down. I'm tired of it and God said I'm tired of it too. I'm takudaba kutu rabusata reshata yabusa shanda. I was saying to sister Marva I see and she somebody can just run with this to her. I know she's coming up but I see MJ Marva's and Joshua's you know including her children oh God catering thing ha. oh God almighty Jesus oh God yes Lord Jesus oh God though the vision tarry elder Simit you're, you're talking about vision here though the vision tarry shut up write it and make it cool about shake it oh ah, you, you you're not ready for this you haven't even start writing and you know that i'm going dear or you're not following me jesus oh god though the vision oh god almighty indeed there is a tiring of the vision but elder symmetry oh god almighty make it plain what is it that you want from god for the year 2000 Jesus oh God oh God 2020 and onward Jesus oh God let me see some of the men that are not married Lord God Almighty I see your dear brother Sancho Lord Jesus most time we fail to talk about these things Lord God Almighty but hear me today they that are not married Jesus oh God Almighty believe God for a safe Wife, Lord Jesus, believe God for.
for a nurtured wife and a wife with ambition. Lord Jesus, glory be to God. A wife that loves God. Jesus, oh God, I just say to the brothers, because it's not the duty of the sister to find a man. It's the duty of the brother. The Bible said he that find it a wife, oh God. Jesus, a pain. Find it a good thing and a pain favor from Almighty God. I see you smiling, brother. Run with it now. Lord Jesus, glory be to God. Lord Jesus, write the vision and make it plain. Lord God Almighty Jesus, glory. Write it, oh God. Lord Jesus, oh God. For the year 2020, Lord Jesus, my expectation is Kuntayabashi. Katayama, Brother Archie, Kurabashi, Sister Archie, you have the ability. Sister Orinthia, you have the ability. Hold on to him. And whatsoever is his vision is your vision. Brother Archie, always tell me, Brother Adrian, I want to become a boss. God is about to make you a boss. Jesus, oh God, Yabo Kushata Yibasi, Laba Kushende, Laba Kushan Diarabasa. Ah, Jesus, Warren Buffett said, Oh God Almighty, Jesus, that most of what he made, he made it, Jesus, after the year of 50. Hallelujah. Read a book called Good Dad and Bad, uh, Good Dad, Rich Dad, and Poor Dad. And there's so many stuff that I've taken from the book. But while Jesus, Peter, was stepping out, Jesus, he was stepping out. The Bible said there is a wind, a voiceless wind. The Bible said because now he took his eyes from all Jesus, he began to sink. My God. He begin to sink. You're stepping out. God Almighty. Keep your eyes on God. Even when you're sinking. The Bible said. Peter said. Lord Jesus. Save me. Jesus. Can somebody say Lord. Keep my family. Lord keep my finance. Lord keep my job. Can somebody reach out and say Lord save me. Lord God Almighty Jesus, oh God. Most folks, oh God, as I said to you, you're easy on giving up, Jesus. Most folks, I said to you, you have no tenacity or you have no backbone to fight, oh God. But if you, oh Jesus, oh God, Jesus, you have to kill me and let me dead and dead quicker for me to give up because I'm not giving up. Oh God Almighty Jesus. Lord the weapon of our warfare. Are not carnal but mighty true God. To the pulling down a stronghold. The Bible said that he's nigh unto them that is that called him. And called him in truth. The Bible said this poor man cried. And the Lord heard him. And delivered him from Jesus. Jesus, all his troubles, not some of his troubles, but all his troubles, the Lord deliver him, Lord God Almighty, we are my fighters in here, you have been kicked it over, debt run up in your family, sister can, you got to serve debt and notice, where is sister notice, you got to serve debt and notice, they want to lose you, they want you to lose your job, you got to serve that and notice too, in the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ, Lord God Almighty here. I heard when you spoke on it, oh God. Watch this, oh God. It was a fight between Mike Tyson, oh God, and Evander Holyfield. I heard when Mike Tyson said, referee, oh Jesus, oh God, Evander Holyfield is bucking me. How much of us, oh God, the devil is bucking you. Lord God Almighty, like how you want to sing, Peter. Lord Jesus, and the devil is bucking your children. But 
them out of the church and you sit there without a fight in your spirit. How much of us the devil is bucking? She is a bucking, bucking, bucking by your sit there. You sit there. How much of us, oh God, the devil walk up into your relationship? How much of us the devil walk up into your job and you quit before they even sent you home? But God said, Jesus, you got to develop some strength. You got to develop some muscle. Jesus, I heard when, oh God, I and Mike said, I'm not taking this no more. If you bought me, I'm going to bite you. Jesus, and I saw when I and Mike grabbed to him. Ah, Jesus, if you got to bite, not physically, but bite something in the spirit realm. Bite, bite, bite. By the counsel of Satan, by and clean spirit, Lord God Almighty, Jesus glory, Holy Ghost God, Holy Ghost God, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, bite something, Jesus, Jesus, my God, my God, Jesus, we are not wrestling flesh and blood but every time that you make a step the forces of darkness we sing the song anyway and where the children of God's go oh God the devil himself follow the devil pursue you the devil don't want to see you be saved he come against your mind Lord Jesus oh God but can I say to somebody Lord when the devil see you upon your knees the kingdom of darkness is in trouble Jesus when the weakest saints begin to say Lord, like Peter did, the Bible said in Psalms 20, let the king hear us when we call. We're going to call on the name of Jesus. Everything is wrapped up in that name. Don't be afraid, afraid from today to say, Lord Jesus, help. Lord Jesus, show up. The Bible said when the children of Israel was down there in Egypt, they stand and the Bible said, said that oh God the cry came up before God as a memorial unto him Lord Jesus hear me now somebody after that you brave up yourself after that you know who you are in Jesus after that you know whom you belong to when you know who you are I heard Another individual say that there is a young man from Africa. He's called a Jagba. The, 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 the thing I watched, it state Jesus that this big man went into the ring. And while he went into the ring, the referee or the person was announcing who a Jagba is. And it says, this man never lose a fight. This man, Jesus, win all seven fights with one minute of knockout. And right there when this big man even was making some fun, he saw a jagba. I have never seen this in history. The man put his foot under the ring or out of the ring and the man walk right out of the ring when you know who you are my sister in God the devil is going to be afraid of you when you know who you are knowing the word he go up against Jesus Christ and while he go up against Jesus Christ the Bible said it is written that man shall not live by bread alone but by the word that proceeded out of his mouth hear me today somebody Lord Jesus oh God know who you are watch this man I'm done Jesus oh God the other day the other day I came to fasting my feet hurts I have to leave work. I could not walk. I jogged you. 
I came to fast in. And I say in the name of Jesus, I'm going to be walking perfectly. I said, God, I have my family to help. Hallelujah, Jesus. I saw two other persons have that same foot problem. Don't know if it's forces of darkness or sickness. But while I was there, I say in the name of Jesus, I'm telling you, I might not say to nobody because I came up here like everything is all right. Because that's me. And right there, I stood up and I say, I believe God. I came with my best praise. Nobody could tell that Jesus, I was in pain. Jesus said, with him, all things are possible. But he said, if only, watch this condition, if only, if only, that simple mean, if you don't believe, nothing will happen. If only, hear me today, do I have somebody that is going to believe God more? Do I have somebody in this house that is going to believe God more? I don't believe in me mediocrity. I don't believe in it. I don't believe. I'm crazy when it comes on to my faith. There's a young man in Jamaica called Tanto Blacks. He called his name, tweet, tweet them, Twitter and whatsoever. He said, real rich. He said, richness is not based on what you have only. But it's based on how you think. And I saw God where, I saw where, when he was coming to Canada here, and this is an unsaved. They turned him back about 20 times. And now I saw where he put a thing up. He was in Dubai. He was in Dubai. Don't you think God wants us to go to Dubai as well and visit some of those people that doesn't know him? Talk to me now. If an unsaved musician can go there and speak of the music of the world, what about us? Talk to me. He's traveling Dubai, he's traveling England, he's traveling United States, and he's traveling Canada. And all he talk about is real rich. Hear me today. You don't have to be going what you're going through. The Lord said, I am able. 